I've always wanted to be a, a physician since I was young, so I just it's been part of my dream forever. And um, yeah, so I just did what I had to do to become a doctor. So, but it, it's since I was a, a kid. So. Were there any influences as you were growing up that that kind of led you to healthcare? Um, I think one of the biggest things I think uh, my grandma was kind of sick, and I spent a lot of time with her. And that kind of influenced me quite a bit to try to do something, you know. So that took, that that was a big influence right there. That was about it because nobody else in our family has been in healthcare or anything. So, um, basically, I just remember seeing my dad come home every day with his my lab coat, and then I just tailed along with him to the hospital or to the clinic and fell in love with it from right from the get go. Because I remember just looking out the front window and watching him walk down the street with his lab coat and toe and doctor's bag and finally seeing what he does to help people and change the community it impacted me greatly and I wanted to do the same. So what brought you both to Parkview? Oh heck, well I did my residency here in town so I just stayed here and um, then I started working down the street with Dr. Riker when I first got out of residency so I've been here for over 30 years, and um, to be honest, I, I, I love Parkview. You know, it's just like second home, and um, there's a lot of changes, but I, I love this place. You know, but it's it's always worked out well for me. I used to do a lot across town, but that kind of changed a little bit. So. Now I wanted to come back and just be back home and help out the community. This is home. I don't know anything different. So, so outside of work, what activities do you both enjoy doing when you're not in the health field? I don't do much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> work out, summertime, yard work, and that's about it. I don't. I just love to work. That's that's my hobby. Yeah, I, he instilled these bad habits in me too. <laughs> I, uh, working out every day, and then my wife and I love to cook and. Play with the dogs and go exploring. So yeah, every day, same thing, same habits. Four in the morning workout, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so can you give me a little bit of background, kind of on your education and, and, and some of the medical things that you do as well? Yeah, I went to um, well, medical school up in Denver at the University of Colorado and um, did my residency at St. Mary Corn Hospital with that program. I'm still kind of involved with that program, trying to help out the residents and doing the OB and getting that, you know, going for them. Um, the majority of stuff I do is still do the broad spectrum family medicine and still do deliver babies, help out in surgery, admit my own patients, and just old school, old school stuff. It's done it forever and it's just, just part, part of the way it is, you know. Well, I did my medical school training at the Medical Universities of the Americas in the Caribbean, and then my residency training at San Anthony's in Oklahoma City. And uh, the scope of practice I'm in is just primarily just outpatient family medicine at this time. Um, I love doing procedures in the clinic, and yeah, I I wanted to focus more so on having balance between clinic and being able to enjoy a little more and. So, I unfortunately do not deliver babies anymore, but <laughs> despite how much you try to get me back into it. But. What are some of the biggest changes you've seen here at Parkview over your, over your time? Well, there's been a lot of changes, you know, throughout the system. And basically just our healthcare system is changing so much. You just have to, basically just kind of have to go with the flow anymore. You know, you have to adapt to the different um, environment, you know, whatever's happening at the time. Since I've been here for 30 years, we've seen a lot of different changes, and but I think you know it's all eventually for the good. Things happen; you just gotta adapt to it and just keep going with it, and it'll all work out. So, so what advice would you have for students who are thinking about going into healthcare, or students who are thinking about becoming doctors? Um, I'd say if that's your passion and that's your dream, just go for it. Whatever it takes to do it. You know, there's going to be ups and downs throughout the whole process and stuff, but just focus on what you want to do and just do it. And, and 
one of the things that grandma told me when I became a doctor, she goes, now that you're a doctor, you're no better than anybody else and there's nobody better than you, so don't think you're any better than your staff or anything. You treat them with respect and, and um, just like you want to be treated. Yeah, and I second that. Another thing that you've instilled in me was the a part of like the old school Hippocratic Oath was the Latin saying was ars longa or ars longa vita brevis, which means the art is long, life is short. And you have to do what you love. You have to do where your passions are in this lifetime and in what we do in art. And it's it's always an evolving process. And the other thing too, like we have to once. You have to trust in yourself and understand your abilities and that's another thing too is like even going through medical school residency having that trust in yourself makes things so much easier later on like it's you never know what situation you get thrown into and it it pans out it works out and a good thing it's not a it's not a job it's, it's a life so at <clears throat> family meal time, family dinner time, you're all sitting around the table. What's the normal topic of conversation? Does that have anything to do with the medical field or or is is there something you both are passionate about you'd like to talk about? Probably not, just razzing each other about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's usually the case. Yeah. yeah, usually when we go home, the medicine's at the door. and yeah. Do you have a favorite sports team in common or a favorite activity in common? You like rooting for the opposite team? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't matter who we're playing. Just to rouse my wife a little bit. Yeah. Is there anything I missed that, that, that you'd like to share that I didn't ask? No. No, I think like it's a, it's a, it's a good profession. You know, I mm -hmm. love this stuff. And um, wouldn't do anything different. You know, as, as long as I keep doing it as long as I can. And, just continue to try to help people and do what you can and be good with the staff. So, yeah, I think another thing is just kind of we always instilled that it's just it's never about I don't see my patients as patients, I see the people behind the patient, and that's something you've instilled in me since square one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, knowing their names, their history, their family, their pets, and makes a world of difference like it's this is our community 